Hey guys, welcome and in this video I am going to show you how to actually improve your editing experience inside Premiere Pro. This video is divided into three different parts. The first one is basic settings inside Premiere Pro that we are going to change and the second part will include Nvidia control panel settings which will actually dedicate more graphics and performance towards Premiere Pro and the final are some Windows settings that are important to improve performance. So without any delay let's begin. Once you are inside Premiere Pro, you can see your timeline and inside the timeline, you can see this yellow line. But yours may be different, it might be green or yellow or red. But let me show you how to turn this yellow or red line into green. Because green means you can edit it seamlessly and easily inside Premiere Pro. At first, choose your starting point and end point. For now, for this tutorial, I am going to choose this point as a starting point press I button from keyboard which will mark it as end point. I have to choose end point as well. Press on O button from keyboard. Go to sequence option. Click on render in to out. Playback will be much more smooth than it was before. And you can also see this green line over here which means you are good to edit this clip. And if it still doesn't work you need to go to this drop down and if we reduce it to half of the quality or quarter of the quality it will be more easy and smooth so these are the basic things that i need to tell before we start the tutorial now let's begin with some settings first of all we are going to change some premiere pro settings go to edit click preference and memory once you are inside you need to change optimized rendering for from memory to performance because we really need performance at this time and inside this RAM reserved for other applications you need to reduce it as much as you can so I can reduce it up to 3 GB once you change all of these settings click on OK and that's all for the Premiere Pro settings and now let's change some graphics settings. So I have NVIDIA graphics card which means I have to search for NVIDIA control panel. Open it. First of all inside this adjust image settings with preview you need to choose this use the advanced 3D image settings. Click it and click on apply and now move to manage 3D settings. Skip this global settings and go to program settings. Once you are inside program settings, you need to select Premiere Pro from this drop down panel. But if you can't find it here, then just click on add. And you will see under recently used, I have Premiere Pro. I will click on it and just click add selected program. Now let's change some settings for Premiere Pro. The first setting I will recommend you to change is CUDA GPUs. So it's here and set it to global settings and make sure that the current graphics card is selected. Now click OK and after that we need to change another setting called OpenGL rendering. Click on it and select your graphics card inside this setting. Once you set all the settings click on apply. Now all the settings are changed. Close NVIDIA control panel. Finally it's time to change some windows settings. Let's start with graphic settings. Under display you can find graphics. If you don't have Premiere Pro inside this list I will show you how to add it. Make sure desktop app is selected instead of Microsoft app. Then click on browse. Now we have to locate our installation folder. Right click on Premiere Pro shortcut then click open file location. Now click here and copy this path. Close it. Go back to settings. Now click on browse. Now paste the path inside this box. Click this search for Adobe Premiere Pro and click it and click on add. So this will add the Premiere Pro inside of our graphic settings. Now all we have to do is click on options, choose high performance and click on save. So from now on when we open Adobe Premiere Pro, the system will automatically use our high performance GPU. And now we have another setting to change. From this left hand side you can see gaming. Click on it and click on game mode. You just have to turn this off. Now it's time to change power option. Go to search and search for control panel. 
you may have different interface just click this view by option and click large icons so i need you to go to hardware and sounds and click this power options what i'm going to show you is how to create your own power plan go to create a power plan now choose high performance and give the name like editing or premiere pro and then click on next now click on create your custom power plan is created which is for high performance once the power option has been changed we need to disable unnecessary animations and visual effects for that search advanced system settings open it once you are inside system properties click this settings now what i want you to do is just tap this adjust for best performance which will disable all of the animations and click on apply and then click on ok now it's time to disable some startup programs for that open task manager and you can see inside here we have startup apps option click it and you can see different applications or programs so let me show you how to disable or enable it to do so right click on the program that you want to disable then click on disable option and you can see it is disabled and if you want to enable it just right click on it and click on enable i have disabled a lot of them because it will take so much of resources that our laptop needs which means if you disable it it will prevent these applications from running into background and which will in return increase performance and this is how you can change startup app settings now let's move to details tab and we need premiere pro to be open and once you are inside this details tab you need to find Adobe Premiere Pro then right click on it click on set priority and choose real time which will set all the resources to work for Premiere Pro which will increase your editing performance these are all the settings that you need to change in order to improve your editing experience and for past two or three years I have been using this exact settings to increase my performance on every device I get in my hand I hope you liked the video and don't forget to press the subscribe button as well Thank you and I will see you in the next video.